What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. Today I've got a video that I think is going to be pretty helpful for you and it fixes a problem that I had in trying to use all kinds of assets in my videos. I've got all kinds of cool assets, things from cool arrows like these guys over here or those guys over there. I've got cool full screen effects like this. I've got overlays. I've got music. I have a ton of assets that I want to be able to access in all of my projects. Today's video is sponsored by Motion array and I do get most of my graphics my overlays little things you'll see in my videos arrows and text templates all that kind of stuff I get it from motion array because they've got great stuff and we'll talk about them a little more later but what I really want to talk about is how do we organize our assets and then how do we make sure we can get to them from every project because you don't want to keep multiple copies of all these assets it's just gonna clog up your hard drives you're gonna to have to hunt through your files and try and find them and it's just a pain. I, I've, I've been there. I've been there. I've tried it and it's a pain in the butt. Let's be honest. So what do we do? How do we fix that? The way we fix that is by using power bins. So it's a combination of managing our files in some kind of organizational structure, right? And our in our finder or explorer, if you're in windows, and then how do we get that into the power bins and organize it there so that we can access all of our assets in every single project and not have to worry about bringing them in bringing this in where did i put that i don't know where things are i can't remember it's on a hard drive somewhere nah we're not going to do that so let's jump on the computer here i'm going to show you my setup i think this is going to really help you guys out it's really helped streamline things for me and just make it easier to get all of these awesome assets from motion ray when i want to drop them in a project so let's check this out so before we even jump into davinci resolve let's take a look at my finder how do i structure and set up all these assets that I got because over time they add up and I just I've, I've got a ton of them so what I like to do is on my external hard drive on my SSD I keep one folder and then inside there I'll organize all of my assets so I have media for all projects now inside there I have an audio folder for all of my music sound effects uh, sound effects from motion array I have a brand assets folder where I use logos from Adobe or Blackmagic Design or the DaVinci Resolve logo, TubeBuddy, TikTok, all that kind of stuff. I also have a folder for Motion Array assets. So everything I get from Motion Array is going to go inside this folder. And then once it's inside there, I kind of break it down and organize it a little bit. So you can see here I've got announcements, graphics, intros, overlays, sound effects. I've got video clips in here, YouTube promotion. And I just kind of like figure out how do I want to organize all these things? And I break even some of them down a little bit for, farther. So how you organize it is really up to you. But I feel like you want to start with a good structure somewhere where your computer is always going to be able to access these assets. Because once we bring it in Resolve, you don't ever want to have to move these assets. You just want to be able to leave them where they're at. And they're just going to appear in every project. So I use a Samsung T5 SSD. And that's where all these assets live. And thankfully, so far, I've had enough space on there. I haven't run out of space yet. But this is where all those assets are going to live. Now, jumping into DaVinci Resolve, right here I've got my power bins open. If you don't have your power bins, you can't see them, make sure you've got your media pool open. And if you still can't see them or they're just not showing up for you, you want to come on over to view and come all the way down to show power bins and that way you're going to make sure that you got the power bins open now you can adjust the windows here a little bit just hover over you'll get that little symbol you can drag it up and down a little bit but now you can see in here i have different folders within my power bins right i've got some transitions some divider title packs i have a whole folder with just transition sound effects end screen folders i've got my music folder where all of my music lives now, again, you can mimic your folder structure from Finder or from Explorer if you want. That works out great. And I like to separate it by music I get from, you know, Artlist versus Motion Array, just so I can kind of keep track of things. So you can see I have a Motion Array folder right here. I've got sound effects that I get from Artlist as well. Also, I get uh, sound effects from Motion Array. They have great stuff. And then down here, a lot of my other folders here, such as the subscribe and like folder that I have here, all these come from Motion Array. And one of my favorite parts of Motion Array are all of the awesome graphics, motion graphics, and overlays that they have. They have so much stuff there. I love to jump in here and uh, jump on their website. I can take a look at some of the arrows and the different call out kind of things that they have. That works out really great for me. I also like some of the things like uh, like the fire right here. You know, you want to throw a little fire on your screen here like this. Ooh, it's getting hot. You can do that if you want. And if you are wondering what kind of assets you can get from Motion Array, 
check out their website. You can get DaVinci Resolve templates, presets, motion graphics, plugins, all kinds of awesome stuff. And sometimes even when you're trying to make your thumbnails here on YouTube, you need a good photo, maybe you don't have a photo, you can just jump onto Motion Array here and they have a ton of great photos that you can use for thumbnails. It's it, There's just so much here that uh, yeah, I, I've been digging for months and I still haven't seen probably half of what they got here. There is just awesome assets here that really just help take your videos to the next level. They help make your thumbnails better. The templates are easy to use. They're fantastic. So real quick, just in case you guys are wondering, what does it cost for Motion Array? So when it comes to purchase options, you can purchase monthly right here, and that's gonna cost you $29.99 a month. If you wanna save a few dollars, you can go with the annual plan right here, and that's gonna run you $249.99 a year. But if you use the link in the description, you are gonna save $50 off that price because Motion Ray is providing a discount for you using that link. So it's only going to cost you 200 bucks. And that's awesome. Save 50 bucks. That's pretty big. That's a lot of money off of the annual plan here. And if you have a whole team working with you, you can use the team option here, which is $224.99 per year. So definitely check out that link in the description below. This is going to be your best bet right here. $200 for all these awesome assets at Motion Array. It's awesome. Can't recommend it enough. And with all these plans, you get unlimited assets. They're awesome. Thanks so much, Motion Ray, for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back into organizing our power bins. So once you have your power bins all organized, it's as easy as just opening it up in any project and you can just drag and drop any one of your assets into your project. Now, the thing that I love about using the power bins is that these assets are always there. Every project I open, boom, power bins are there, assets are there. And if you just upgraded to DaVinci Resolve 18, everything you've got in 17, if you got your power bins full like I did, all that's going to be migrated right into 18 for you. You don't have to redo anything super quick and super easy. Now, one other awesome thing, so you don't have to grab your files from, uh, you know, Finder or Explorer, bring them in one at a time. If you've got your file structure set up in Explorer or Finder, you can grab that whole structure and just bring it right into the power bins. And that exact structure is going to fall right into the power bins. Check this out. Let's say I wanted to take my YouTube promotion uh, folder here and put it in the power bins. All I have to do is click on it from Finder, drag it over, drop it in my power bins. Boom, there it is, YouTube promotion. All my folders are in there, everything works out great. It just drops right into place for you. So organizing your assets like this is a huge time saver when you're trying to throw together videos, especially if you're a YouTuber. You gotta crank out those videos, right? We wanna share all our excitement in our videos. We wanna share that with our audience. So having everything in a power bin, all your assets, so that you can just grab them real quick, drop them in a project, really helps speed up your workflow. And that's one of the, the super important things here about having all these assets is being able to use them quickly and efficiently, right? Because we don't wanna spend a ton of time searching for stuff. You wanna be building that video. You wanna be able to flip through a bunch of your cool assets see what you got and be like, hey, I could take this and uh, maybe throw myself an explosion, kind of like I just did in this intro right here, like this. Wait, wait, wait a second. Hold on, hold on, let me try it again. Wait, I'm on my shoes here. All right, ready? Oh, oh, dude, that was sweet. So I hope this was helpful in just showing you guys how I kind of manage all these assets because it can get overwhelming, it can get frustrating. I get it, I've been there, and this is kind of the best system that I found to kind of work around everything and be able to have all my assets when I want them. So you learned a little bit of something in this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out Motion Array, they are awesome. They've been a sponsor of my channel for quite a while and I just love their assets, great stuff that they have there. I really appreciate you Motion Array for sponsoring today's video, thanks so much. And with that said guys, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. If you made a video with some Motion Ray assets, drop a link in the comments below, because I want to go check it out. All right, guys, we'll see you. Peace.